caught by Miles. Maybe you shouldn't do it in the house anymore. Hey, check it out. The two little lovebirds. How cute. Yeah, just grow up and leave us alone, thanks. Ooh, what is it with you and aggressive chicks, huh, freak boy? Come on. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Hey, I'm talking to you, Fernandez. Don't just ignore me. I'm going to finish business. Let's get out of here. You mean the library? No, I mean, let's wag geography. Let's go to the beach or something. Joe, we'll get into trouble if we wag. They won't care. Yes, they will. They'll put us on detention. I'd rather be on detention than have Matthew on my face. He's only going to get at me in class. Hey, where are you guys going? What are you up to? Ty wants to wag geography. Are you guys kidding? Bartlett's already on the warpath. I don't care. Oh, no? Well, what about the fact that if Irene and Mr Copeland find out, you're going to be in more trouble than you already are? Josh, she's right. It's not a good idea. And I've already told you, I can't be covering for you guys. Then don't. No one's asking you to. Hey, it's only one class. You stay if you want, but I'm going. Ruby, have you seen Amy or Jai? I know they're supposed to be in the same class. Um, not since earlier. Why? Okay, I just need to talk to them about something important. Um, I guess they're both running a bit late. Do you want me to pass on a message? Uh, that's okay. I I I'll come back in a couple of minutes. Uh, Mr Copeland? Yeah? If you come back in a couple of minutes, they're still not going to be here. What? <sighs> Ruby, if you know something... You didn't hear this from me, okay? No, what? Where are they? I don't actually know, but they've decided to wag class. Thank you. Dad, Dad! You all right? Look at me, look at me, look at me. Where's your medication? Oh, I know, I'm so sorry, mate. Come on, we've got to get you some help. Hop up, we'll get you to the hospital. No, 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 I can't. Come on, we need to get you some help. No, I'm not going. I'm not going, promise me. You can't keep running, okay? Promise me. Okay, I promise you, just... Just take it easy, all right? What you said to Jai, it obviously wasn't very helpful, was it? I wasn't able to speak to that is worse. There's several other Year 9 boys missing, including Matthew Lyons, to whom I've yet to speak. Perfect. Perhaps if you'd handled this situation better in the beginning, we wouldn't be in this position now. You're trying to heap all the blame on me. I'm not, but you know as well as I do. Most behavioural problems are caused by issues in the home. Oh, give me a break, Martin. We both know that Axel's death knocked the students around, especially Jai. about John at all, is it? Is this about me? Of course not. Good. Because I need to find these kids. Hey, Aiden, it's me. Uh, just a bit wondering why you won't answer my calls. Um, I hope you're okay. I'd... Yeah, just give us a call when you get this. Bye. I couldn't keep going. I was feeling so terrible, so I came back here. That's when I called you. I tried to come and see Look, you. Look, this is stupid, all right? You need to see a doctor. I can't. I told you. You're not going to get better on your own. Don't you get that? So what? I go there, I get better. Meanwhile, they've called the cops and I go to jail. Yeah, well, you can't keep running forever. Sometime you've got to admit to what happened to Axel. Look, I know it's what I deserve. I think I don't see that kid every morning I wake up. Yeah, well, maybe you do. But how do you think his family's feeling? It was an accident. I didn't mean to hit you him. You left him there. I don't want to talk about this, all right? I just want to get out of here. You and me. I want you to come with me. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not stuffing up my life for you. And where the hell are you going to go anyway, huh? I mean, look at you. You're sick. You're broke. Hey, hey, oh, I got money. We could just disappear. Somewhere people won't ask questions. Somewhere nobody will find us. You took it, didn't you? You took Bell's money. 
That money was for our house, okay? She was going to pay off the mortgage because you couldn't do it. Oh, I won that money. I had a good day. Oh, stop races. lying. You're pathetic, you know that. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm calling the cops. No, uh, Aiden. Don't, please. Okay, Aiden. Look, just, just stop. Okay, don't do this to your old man. Prison will kill me. Please, mate, I'm it's begging you. It's too late, okay? Because this has gone on long enough. Just wait. I need to tell you something. It's something that I should have told you a long time ago. It's about your grandfather. What about him? What he did to you. He did it to me too. It's like our own private geography lesson. Any better. I don't normally do this in serious trouble. But it's so peaceful. Don't you think it's worth it? I guess you never know. Mr. Dior might not even notice we're not in class. We were pretty vague sometimes. Yeah, like that time when he freaked out about losing his glasses no, when they're on his head. head. Here they are, the lovebirds. Where are you going to run to now, huh? Save my loan. Sorry, can't do that. I told you I wasn't finished with you, man. Don't worry, they can't hurt me. No one can. Well, why is that, loser? You've got superpowers, have you? Doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, well, let's see how super you really are, then. <laughs> you idiot! I guess that means his powers aren't working, then. Oh, please, Lord, don't let him die. John! Call an ambulance, honey! 